Today I'm here to review Gundam Bill Fighters Try Episode 20. This episode picks up directly from where Episode 19 left off. Get out of here, Stray. Man, Episode 20, it was fucking crazy. Shit went down this episode. The conclusion between Junior and Sekai's battle actually happened in today's episode. Oh my goodness. Junior, he was going straight up beast mode. Sekai looked like he was about to fucking cry. He was using all these slashing techniques, choking techniques. Every technique Sekai threw, Junior had a fucking counter to, or he could actually pull off the technique himself, such as the technique where Sekai uses the Phoenix-like animal-like projectile out of his hand, made out of fire. He did it as well. And everyone was just looking like, oh my goodness, how the fuck did he do this shit? And not only Wilfred, but Ado. I believe that's how he pronounces his name. Um, everyone. They would just look like, oh shit, Seikai look like he's about to fucking give up. He look like he's about to fucking quit. And the shit that made me just look like, what the fuck was Yuma and Fumina just looking like, we aren't going to actually help in the fight. Like, what? Like, that's your fucking job. You're supposed to help your ace. You are the fucking teammates. Why wouldn't you help Seikai when he's damn near getting the shit beat out of him on his last legs look like he's about to fucking die in a gunpla battle why wouldn't you help this man <clears throat> so with thus being said this battle was fucking crazy guys Sekai was on his last fucking legs Junior he was just using every technique to fucking perfection and out of nowhere when all seemed lost Sekai just manages to do all these fucking I believe Plavsky particle clones of Tribeal Burning and they looked like fucking clones, but they was made out of particles. Also, thus being said, he actually finishes Junior off what looks like to be the burning finger. I don't care what nobody says. That was the fucking burning finger. That was the fucking burning finger. You could put Jigen, Howl School, Rasen, all in front of the fucking titles. But, come on, you did like fucking like this. And you hit towards his fucking chest. That is the goddamn burning finger, people. So, with this being said, Junior actually loses to Sekai in the fourth round. And he actually gets snapped back to reality. Pretty much going the whole route with them pretty much saying, Hey, I'm back to my senses now. We can become friends. You won, Sekai. Why are you sitting down? Get on your feet, man. I'm proud of you. I'm just looking like, oh, man. I, I don't even like him anymore because he just made him look like a complete pussy. But with this being said... He actually rides off into the sunset with this other guy that uh, Sekai beat way back in like episode like 10 or some shit. Also, <clears throat> with us being said, we actually get to see Lucas Nemesis. And for those of you who do not know, Lucas Nemesis was actually the chairman and chairman's grandson in season one. The little guy that says... Hey, you better not lose to the girl that looks like um Reggie in season one. You know who I'm talking about. Chick with the white hair, she's a fucking beast. But anyway, with that being said, um, this guy, oh my goodness, everyone is just look like they're fucking afraid of this guy because he's just looking like, hey, with you, say Kai look like I can actually go all out. Thus meaning he might be even fucking stronger than Wilfred. Crazy shit, right? He didn't even say that shit to Wilfred saying, hey, I possibly may be able to go all out against you. But he manages to say it to Sekai. Does that mean that Sekai is actually stronger than Wilfred? So many fucking questions, people. Shit is crazy. And this episode goes off with them actually saying um, the damage that um, Lucas is actually capable of. The team that he had to go against fucking destroyed their gunplay. They were actually floating all around and shit pieces were every fucking where and not only that they actually say is this guy is pretty much a fucking master level builder of gunpla as well this guy is fucking dangerous say Kai. even if we do manage to fix the tribe of burning are you even sure you even capable capable of defeating this guy <sighs> so many fucking questions are answered people even a stray had to come out of nowhere and say, Hey, Ronnie, I wouldn't fight that nigga if I was you. And I was like, Alright, nigga, we cool, we cool. But, but with this being said, you guys, you gotta check this episode out. Fucking crazy shit went down this episode. I don't like the fact that they made um, uh, Junior look all weak as shit in that finish of the fight. But all in all, 
pretty good episode. I give it a 7 out of 10. So with us being said, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, share this video. And if you want to help this channel out even more, watch an ad or two. But if they're more than one minute long, I wouldn't blame you if you fucking click the skip button. So with us being said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, share this video. Hermit Frost, over and now.